It's the first August of I keep saying the first August of the month. What's going on with me? And look, I really think nobody does it better. I love the way that you put it together. Oh, oh you fancy, huh? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katrina Nicole. Welcome, and if you are returning, welcome back as always. Thank you for watching. And it's August, guys. We've made it to August, and that happened extremely quick. But um, regardless of the fact, it is August. It is the first August of... I keep saying the first August of the month. What's going on with me? It's the first Sunday of the month, um, August 7th. So again, happy... August, happy Sunday. Sunday is one of my favorite days because it's the day that I feel like you are supposed to indulge in self care, but that's neither here nor there. Um, happy August. This video is just strictly for motivational purposes only. I'm going to be talking about my August intentions, my August goals, and my August reset. So if you are interested in this video, stay tuned. And before we get into the video, make sure you take a moment to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell because we will be getting more and more videos very soon. Let's jump right into it. So first things first, August goals. And I would say as far as my August goals, um i do have a few things that i want to attain for august um nothing major though i have a lot of stuff coming like in the last quarter of the year like more like november december but as far as august as far as goals i just want to get back into like being a little bit more organized because i'm normally a very organized person but lately i've been slacking in that area so i want to just be a little bit more organized focus more on my time management a little bit more and just do better at like planning because I normally um, plan everything. I plan my day, I plan my week. So I just want to get back into that and like I literally want to plan everything like um, from my events that I agreed to go into to overtime at work to taking days off to planning my next hairstyle so this so that i just want to plan because planning helps you stay organized and in order to do that you have to be disciplined so i also want to be a little bit more disciplined you know so yeah for august i don't have any major goals just the planning stuff just um being more um intentional with um who and what i surround myself with um, being intentional with just being intentional with myself, knowing when to take a break, knowing when to like take a pause, knowing when, you know, it's okay to take a step back from this. You know what I mean? So I want everything in my life to be intentional. The people I surround myself with, the places I go, the settings I allow myself to be in, I just want to be intentional. If it's not good for me, if it doesn't feel good for me, I don't want to be a part of it. No matter how I may look to anyone else, it is what is important to me. Um, and yeah, I just want to be more intentional on just keeping in mind to always put myself first um, in all situations. Of course, I consider everybody around me and those who I love, but first and foremost, you have to put yourself first because you can't pour from an empty cup. So um, besides God, just putting myself first. Um, I also want to do some more budgeting because there's some things that I need to do. Um, of course, the holidays are coming up. I have birthdays coming up um, the end of this year. Uh, my mom, my two sisters, my niece. Like I said, Christmas and then top of the year, we have important birthdays. We have 30th birthdays. We have my birthday. So, yeah. Basically, I do some budgeting for that, um, budgeting for like my business, budgeting for my projects that I'm working on. Um, as some of you may know or may not know, um, I write, so I have to put money into my writing so I can try to produce some projects that I want to produce, hopefully end of the year, top of the year, next year. So yeah, I just want to be a little bit more focused all around. And yeah, so we talked about planning, we talked about goals we talked about intentions 
and yeah just like just like a little reset all in all like like i said like knowing when to take time for yourself you know we declutter our homes you gotta also sit with yourself and declutter your mind and no one can do that for you because only you know what is consuming your mind or your time or your energy so make sure whatever is consuming your mind your time your energy make sure it's good um make sure it's fulfilling to you make sure it's making you feel good make sure it's adding and not taking away and that just goes along with the reset so like as we all do like I like to do internal resets as far as like detoxing or maybe fasting or maybe um, limiting myself to certain things that I consume. So I am going to do that again in August. I want to, I need to purchase a juicer. I have a blender and everything, but I need to purchase a juicer because I want to do like a three day juice cleanse as far as like detoxing internally. And I also want to focus a little bit more on something that people don't really talk about often but it's like detoxing externally also um the same way we make sure we cleanse inside and we don't overindulge and stuff like that i think we need to focus on the same thing externally like don't overindulge in thing that's things that strain to you so like we work right we need to make money whether you work for yourself or you work for a company we work we have to make money so a lot of times we focus on making the money and if over time is presented to us, you know, extra hours and stuff like that, we do it. And if your job is a setting that allows you to do it and not feel burned out and not feel drained, I'm all for it, do it. But also just be mindful of not overindulging. So like if it's five overtime opportunities this month, how, take two or three, don't try to take five, you know, give yourself time for yourself because you do have a life outside of work you know so that's what i mean by overindulging the same thing with people if people are making you feel like you're less than or they're making you feel like you're difficult to to, to um be around or you're difficult to love or you're less deserving of something or they're moving finicky with you don't overindulge in that people you have to limit yourself you know so maybe that means instead of seeing them, just call them. Or instead of calling them, just text them. Or maybe that means nothing, you know? But just do what's best for you. So that's what I mean by the it's internal and external detox. And that's what I want to practice. And that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's August, so the summer is coming to an end. I do want to um, go out a little bit more. I will say that what I can say is like everything and everybody in my life right now, they are adding to my happiness. They are adding to my growth. They are adding to who I'm becoming as a woman, different things I'm seeing, different things I didn't know I deserved. So um, I'm sorry, but to get back to what I was saying, um, I just want to go out a little bit more for August. I'll probably go to a few more games before it starts getting cold. It's going to be football season soon, basketball season soon again, thank God. But um, yeah, I just want to um, I just want to live my life freely. I just want to have fun. I just want people around me who's going to build me up. People that don't make me question my self-worth. People that don't make me question anything. And as we get into the holidays, um, I want to... I want to do some traveling before the year ends. I don't know where exactly, but I definitely want to do some traveling before the year ends. Maybe, maybe try to go somewhere like um, around like October, Halloween, maybe like go to one of these fests or something like that. Um, I do want to do vlog timber. I want to do Vlogtober. I want to attempt Vlogmas again because in my defense, I really, 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 really tried to do Vlogmas for 2021 and it was an epic fail but for many reasons i was on crutches i had had two surgeries september and november and i still thought in my mind i could do it but it was an epic fail <laughs> so again i want to try to do vlogmas again this year i just want to bring some fun content to my channel i want to bring some motivational content to my channel i want to bring some relatable content to my channel some everyday life real life content to my channel and yeah um, that's that's like mainly the purpose of my channel and I just want to wish you all a happy August have a great August have a blessed August do whatever you have to do um, for your mental health and for your health overall as a person whatever you have to do for August you do that um, but just make sure you focus on 
being a better you because that's what it comes down to at the end of the day make sure you're good with yourself again make sure you're good with god um make sure you're in a happy space all around again i'm happy at my job that i'm at now i'm extremely happy i'm extremely blessed i'm happy at home um all the relationships that i have going on in my life right now they're good um they're healthy and my family's healthy and everything is just working itself out as it always does so um yeah that's just pretty much it to wrap up this video i'm gonna go ahead and get back into my budgeting get back into fixing my calendar and planning out some stuff for the month so um thank you so much again for watching guys and if you haven't done so already be sure to like comment hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you're alerted every time i post some new content because you don't want to miss it because again more content is coming soon um but yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon in another video